Everywhere you go, the heat has been unbearable. It's spare thought for those living in the so-called danger areas where temperatures reach up to mid-40 degrees Celsius. Brian Basa brings us a story about how tough it's been for farmers in Baknotan, La Union. Brian, uh, how are they? Gretchen, the extreme heat is forcing some farmers in Baknotan, La Union to stop planting for now. Meanwhile, some residents are having a hard time cooling down because there's little to no water supply. As early as 8 in the morning, these farmers in Baknotan are already looking for shade. This early, the heat has become unbearable for many. The heat index or Damang Init in Baknotan reached as high as 44 degrees Celsius yesterday. According to Pagasa's forecast, the temperature in the area is expected to hover at this level. In this extreme heat, one could suffer from heat stroke if exposed to the sun for too long. That's why 77-year-old farmer Leonard is hitting pause on cleaning his farm. Kung hindi ganito ang kwan ngayon, hanggang mga alas 11, ganun. Hmm. Pero ngayon? Eh, medyo mainit na eh. Munting na kami ng umulis. Umuwi na sana kami. Pero nagpapahinga pa lang. But aside from the impact of the extreme heat on health, farmers are facing another problem. Our Jenny Dongon came across Mang Domingo giving water to his cattle. Turns out, the intense heat is also taking a toll on the health of farm animals. Isa lang, isa lang. Isa beses isang araw? Oo, sa hapon lang. Ngayon? Dalawang beses na siya. Dahil kung hindi? Ano siya, parang madidistress din sila eh. Farmlands have also become too scorched for crops to grow and along with that, wells in the area are also drying up. Ay, wala talaga kami may tatanong. May hirapan kahit nga magtanim ngayon, hindi rin mabubuhay. Dalawang araw lang yan, wala na. Tuyo na uli. Pagulon mo na siya. Yan ang target namin namin pag tanim. Nung mga June, siguro. Pag matapos itong ilin niyo, siguro pwede na siguro magtanim uli. We're seeing the same situation in Barangay Zarago in Baknotan as water was seen running out in faucets. The town has been without water since March, plus they haven't had rain since October. So even if they want to cool down by taking a bath, well, they just can't. Mahirap talaga yung tubig sa amin dito. Yun yung, yung problema namin. Yung panahon. Naman. Yung panahon pa mainit. Nagpinagpapawis ka, malagkit sa katawan kung hmm. kailangan kung hindi ka nakapagaligo ng isang ang isang beses. Fortunately, there's still water supply in homes in the city, but for those living in high areas, no water could be drawn from the wells. You see, the town used to have a reservoir for farmers, but this hasn't been used after getting damaged last year. Now the picture is becoming bleaker. Pagasa is now saying Baknotan may experience even hotter temperatures. Pwede pang maging mas mataas sa 44 degrees Celsius yung heat index dito sa may Baknotan noon yun dahil nasa may dry season pa rin tayo. And then usually din yung mga matataas sa temperatura, nakuha din natin. Kundi April, pwede din ng May. Right now, some residents in the area are just pulling their resources from other water sources. Authorities continue to remind everyone to always bring an umbrella and drink water to prevent dehydration. Back to you. Well, thank you so much for that report, Brian Basa.